Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Joe Weisenfelder with Cars.com. Recently had the opportunity to drive just about every version of the 2011 Ford Mustang, which is behind me here. Now for 2010, Ford made a number of updates. 2011 came along and they said we're adding a couple new engines. We thought, small change, right? It's actually a big change and it doesn't stop with the engines. This is a Mustang GT convertible. As a GT, it has a new 5 liter V8 engine up from 4.6 liters. It adds almost 100 horsepower over the previous GT, up to 412, and the torque is up to 390 pound feet. It also happens to look really good. Now that's a lot of power, but the V6 engine is probably more impressive. It's now a 3.7 liter instead of a 4. It is up 95 horsepower to 305. That's roughly what the 2010 V8 produced. More power is definitely better. But how about the mileage? It actually goes up too. In the V8, it's up one mile per gallon city, two highway. In the V6, in the automatic, three miles per gallon city, seven miles per gallon on the highway. Now there are two new transmissions, manual and automatic, both six speeds. Now the previous standard manual transmission was a five speed. Uh, this one feels really good, short throws, kind of a low knob. Now because this is a premium trim level, it has this aluminum ball shifter, which is nice, but even the standard one's quite good. Now Ford made even more improvements with noise treatments to the hood, the fenders, the ceiling, the transmission tunnel, the pillars, pretty much all over the place to help keep road noise, tire noise, wind noise out. And one positive aspect of that, aside from the fact that it's quiet, not just for a sports car, but for any car, is that you can hear the engines better. And the new engines sound terrific. Even the V6 sounds like a Mustang. There are a lot of nice options, both packaged and standalone, including some performance ones. There's a Brembo brake package for the GT. Uh, you can get similar packages for the V6, including 19-inch wheels, etc., cetera, uh, summer tires. And uh, there are probably about three or four different spoilers you can get now. One of the best options is the spoiler delete, which I think looks the best. Now Ford is offering a number of different rear axle ratios for quicker launches off the line. Now if you consider, you can get a V6 Mustang for just over $22,000 and you can get things like a rear axle ratio, performance package, etc. Even on a base version, that's a lot of performance car for not a lot of money. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.